in this video we are going to learn about the internal structure of dicot stem in the previous video we learned about the internal structure of dicot root and internal structure of monocot root today we are going to learn about the internal structure of dicot stem the transverse section of dicot stem shows the following structures epidermis cortex steel what are the three structures epidermis cortex and steel epidermis it is the outermost layer it is made up of single layer of parenchyma cells its outer wall is covered with cuticle it is protective in function so here epidermis of the dicot stem it is the outermost layer it is made up of single layer of parenchyma cells and the single this single layer of parenchyma cells outer wall is lined with a cuticle cuticle it is a waxy layer so you should remember in dicot and monocot root cuticle is absent it is present in dicot stem epidermis what is the function of epidermis it is protective in function epidermis it is the outermost layer it is made up of single layer of parenchyma cells its wall is made up of cuticle which is a waxy layer and what is the function protective in function epidermis is protective in function cortex is divided into three regions they are hypodermis middle cortex and inner cortex what are the three regions of cortex it is divided into three regions hypodermis middle cortex and inner cortex hypodermis it consists of three to six layers of colon chyma cells it gives mechanical support so hypodermis it is made up of three to six layers of colon chyma cells what is the function it gives mechanical support middle cortex it is made up of few layers of chloran chyma cells so you should remember chloran it is the term related to chlorophyll or chloroplast and finally the function will be photosynthesis okay so middle cortex it is made up of few layers of chloran chyma cells it is involved in photosynthesis due to the presence of chloroplast middle cortex is made up of few layers of chloran chyma cells it is involved in photosynthesis due to the presence of chloroplast next is the inner cortex it is made made up of few layers of parenchyma cells it helps in gaseous exchange and stores food materials so hypodermis it is made up of colon chyma cells function is mechanical support middle cortex it is made up of chloran chloran chyma cells what is the function photosynthesis inner cortex it is made up of parenchyma cells what is the function gaseous exchange and stores food materials next is the endodermis it is the innermost layer of cortex it consists of single layer of barrel shaped cells these cells contain starch grains so it is called as starch sheath so endodermis it is the innermost layer of the cortex it is made up of single layer of barrel shaped cells they contain starch grains and hence they are also called as starch sheath next is the steel we learned about epidermis again cortex cortex divided into three region hypodermis middle cortex and inner cortex next is the steel the central part of the stem inner to the endodermis is known as steel it consists of pericycle vascular bundle and pith what is steel the central part of the stem inner to the endodermis is known as steel it consists of pericycle vascular bundle and pith pericycle it occurs between vascular bundle and endodermis where is the location of pericycle it occurs between 
vascular bundle and endodermis it is multi layered parenchymatous with alternating patches of sclerenchyma so pericycle it is multi layered that means it is made up of number of layers of cells that is parenchyma cells alternating with sclerenchyma parenchyma cells alternating with sclerenchyma cells so pericycle it occurs between vascular bundle and endodermis it is multi layered parenchymatous with alternating patches of sclerenchyma vascular bundle vascular bundles are conjoint collateral endarch and open so you should remember a short form here c c e o conjoint collateral endarch and open they are arranged in the form of a ring around the pith so you should remember about the vascular bundles we learned already what is conjoint xylem and phloem lies in the same radius what is collateral xylem lies towards the center and phloem lies towards the periphery what is endarch protoxylem lies towards the center and metacylem lies towards the periphery what is open if cambium is present between the xylem and phloem it is called open so c c e o you should remember what is c c e o conjoint collateral endarch and open next one is the pith the large central parenchymatous zone with intercellular spaces is called pith it helps in storage of food materials so large central parenchymatous zone central portion it is made up of parenchyma cells with intercellular spaces that is called pith what is the function it helps in the storage of food materials so what are the things we learned in internal structure of dicot stem epidermis cortex cortex divided into three region hypodermis middle cortex and inner cortex next is endodermis steel and steel again divided into three what are they pericycle vascular bundle and pith vascular bundle i have given you a short form c c e o that is conjoint collateral endarch and open